The Daily Crypto Catch by Kalkai Media is brought to you by Crossgate Capital. Crossgate Capital is a specialist investor in cryptocurrencies, a Kiwi company providing a smart way to invest in crypto through shares. Crossgate Capital's diversified portfolio includes Bitcoin, Ethereum and other leading cryptocurrencies. To learn more, simply visit www.crossgatecapital.co.nz. Thanks for tuning in to Kalkine TV. I'm James and this is The Daily Crypto Catch, proudly brought to you by Crossgate Capital. Let's catch up on the past 24 hours from the crypto space. Bitcoin continued to tumble over the weekend after a slight recovery last week. The world's premier cryptocurrency sunk below US $40,000 for the first time since the beginning of February, dropping over 10% since Friday. The fall highlights Bitcoin's struggle to recover after a difficult few months, where the coin's value has continuously declined since reaching a record high last November. Meanwhile, Ethereum fell around 15% over the weekend to hit $2,600 US dollars. In fact, nine out of the top 10 cryptos are in the red over the past 24 hours, signifying a very bearish trend for the crypto market. Moving along, and blockchain data company Chain Analysis have said that almost 4% of crypto whales are in fact criminal whales. Research from Chain Analysis found that a little over 4,000 crypto whales were criminals representing 3.7% of all whales. The findings go hand in hand with the negative criticisms of crypto, which many critics believe represents a safe haven for fraudsters, money launderers and drug traffickers. According to the findings, the source of the illicit funds came from a variety of sources, including the dark web, which was ranked first at 37.7%, and illicit scams, which ranked second at 32.4%. The areas identified as the place where most whales operated from were Russian cities, Moscow and St. Petersburg. That was followed by South Africa, Saudi Arabia and also Iran. These figures come in the wake of another chain analysis study which found that the total money of money lost to laundering in 2021 was 8.6 billion US dollars, up 30% from 2020. In altcoin news, a list of celebrities have been implicated in a class action lawsuit against Binance chain crypto project SafeMoon. The lawsuit alleges that SafeMoon recruited celebrities in an effort to lure in other investors. The celebrities involved include musicians Nick Carter, Soldier Boy, Little Yachty and YouTubers Jake Paul and Ben Phillips. The lawsuit also alleges that SafeMoon mimicked a Ponzi scheme promising investors unrealistic profits. The lawsuit specifically points to instances where the celebrities artificially boosted the trading volume and also the price of the SafeMoon token. SafeMoon experienced months of positive growth last year. However, the loss of its C-suite executives resulted in a major plummet of the token's value. The lawsuit alleges a rug pull occurred where there was a slow sell-off of holdings during a period where trading volume was artificially bolstered by the implicated celebrities. And lastly, as for the day's top gainers and losers, Miner experienced a low gain of just 3% in the past 24 hours, while Solana grew around 1% over the same period. As for the big losers, Kadena fell 10% overnight, and Gala also saw a decline of 10%. And that's all for today's edition of the Daily Crypto Catch. Stay tuned to Kalkine TV for the latest market updates, business news and exclusive interviews. I'm James, signing off for now.